I'm Dave Collins with CleverHiker.com, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at essential items that you should never leave behind, as well as your first aid kit. With lightweight backpacking, you want to remain as minimal as possible, but you never want to do that at the expense of your own safety. When it comes to items on an essential list, it can sometimes feel like bringing more is better. More clothing to stay warm, more food in case you go hungry, or more items in a first aid kit to stay safe. The problem is, all those little extras add up to a lot of weight, so you want to be careful, because that can make your hike a lot less comfortable. Lightweight backpacking is all about striking the right balance between safety and comfort. With a little bit of experience, you'll get skilled at keeping these items nice and light. Let's take a look at each item. Navigation equipment is always a must. You're always gonna to wanna to bring a compass, a map, and also a whistle. The map and compass are to help you from getting lost, and the whistle is to help you get found if you do get lost. You can also bring a GPS unit. They tend to be a little heavier, and the batteries can sometimes wear out, so be careful. Bringing a little extra food is always a good idea. You're probably going to be burning more calories than you're used to, so an extra meal can come in handy. If you run out of food, you're going to be uncomfortable, but not in immediate danger. So stay calm and hike out as soon as possible. Always bring a water purification method and enough water to keep you well hydrated. Never rely on seasonal streams. Always bring enough clothing to be prepared for cold and wet weather. Weather predictions can be inaccurate, and weather conditions can change quite quickly, especially at high elevations. Always bring a shelter to keep you safe and dry. If you're traveling with a group, you might consider making sure that everybody has some form of shelter. An emergency blanket can weigh as little as three ounces. A small lighter, stormproof matches, and a fire starter can help you prevent hypothermia, and they're not gonna weigh much. A knife can be very handy and can also be found very lightweight. Multi-tools can be a little bit overkill, and some of them are very heavy, so make sure you find a light option. Sun protection is an absolute must on the trail. Snow blindness and bad sunburns can be crippling, so make sure you take sunscreen, lip balm, and sunglasses. You'll use a headlamp almost every single night on the trail, and a small LED backup will weigh a fraction of an ounce. Never head out into the wilderness without a small first aid kit and the knowledge of what to do in common emergencies. Now let's take a closer look at first aid kits. You're gonna notice that there's some overlap which is gonna help you save a little weight as well. A common mistake with first aid kits is bringing too much because you're uncertain about dangers. I used to backpack with a first aid kit that weighed almost a pound and I took it on every trip I went. Now that I've lightened up and had a little bit more experience, my first aid kit only weighs a few ounces. If your first aid skills are rusty, brush up online a little bit before you head out on the trail. If you're worried, you can always print out a piece of paper that'll remind you what to do in common emergencies. Pre-made kits can be a good start but you're definitely gonna to wanna to customize them for your own use. Repackage them to save weight, take out the extras, and put in your own medications. You can also just make your own first aid kit, which can often be lighter and cheaper. Let's take a look at what you're gonna to wanna to make sure to put in it. A number of the items in your first aid kit are gonna be prevention items, like soap and hand sanitizer to keep your hands clean, sunscreen and lip balm for sun protection, moisturizer or sports lotion, to keep yourself from chafing, and moleskin for any time you start to feel a hot spot. In the pill section of your first aid kit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to bring pain relievers, antihistamines for bad allergic reactions, and anti-diarrhea medication. In the cut section of your first aid kit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get some small band-aids and some triple antibiotic ointment for small cuts, some butterfly bandages for larger cuts, and gauze pads and tape for larger scrapes. A small pair of tweezers will be handy for ticks and splinters. A pair of latex gloves is good for sterilization, especially if you're treating someone else's wounds. 
and safety pins can be good for creating wraparound bandages or slings. This may seem like a lot, but if portioned correctly, your first aid kit can be very light and only weigh a few ounces. You can also use other items from your pack, like clean clothes to help stop heavy bleeding or to make a sling. Something like a trekking pole or a stick can be used to flash in a splint. You can also use a notepad and paper to leave notes for people in case of emergencies on the trail. You can personalize your first aid kit with a little bit of planning and experience, but always make sure you're prepared on the trail. I'm Dave Collins for CleverHiker.com. Hike light, hike smart, and have fun.